Hi right, YouTube, back on the Caprice. I'm trying to get these floors finished up. I know in the last video I said I was thinking about doing the dash next, fiberglass in the dash. Well, I forgot about some things that I was going to do on the inside. So, gonna have to do those first, and have to do the dash later. I was really hoping I'd get to play with fiberglass, but it's going to have to wait. I got other things I need to do. But as of right now, we're going to get these floors done, get some paint down on them so they don't rust again, and then we'll move on from there. Well, I'm running pretty low on gas with my welder. May end up having to go get some more. We're going to keep welding these floors up until we run out, I guess. But uh, I'll show you where I'm at. Just about all that's welded up. I uh, still got a little more back here. <coughs> uh, it's the passenger rear. Now, I know this looks odd. Not really the greatest way to do it, but it's solid. I mean, it's it's not rotted out anymore. It's all new metal. Yeah, I know it's pieced together. But you gotta remember guys, I'm working with minimal tools. All these bins are made with a step stool and concrete, really. And I don't have all the English wheels and planishing hammers and shot bags and all that. We kinda rocking it caveman style. But regardless, the floor's gonna be solid. Um, right here where it's not welded, that will be cut out along with this one. I know that sounds crazy cutting out a floor I just put in, but we're gonna cut some bracing out of either the old truck or the old hood. We're gonna add it in there for a little added strength. Because from the factory, these things came a little ribbed. Once again, I don't have the tools to put those in there. So, we're gonna do the best we can and go from there. All right. Got the floor welded up, with the exception of the pasture side rear. Now, I gotta add some support to it. So, let me show you what I got going on. Alright, this is the old trunk. It was beat up, boogered up, had a whole lot of rust in it. So, we got a new trunk lid. Now, if you can tell from that center brace, I cut it out. I'm going to use that as the brace for my floor pans. Alright, I don't know how well you can see it, but those little black lines are where I'm going to be cutting the floor out. That's why I wasn't too worried about this gap over here because it's going to be getting cut out anyway for the bracing. So I'm going to grab my grinder real quick and we're going to cut out. I'm going to try and get them tacked in if i got enough gas for my welder. Alright, so yesterday I ran out of gas for my welder. Kind of figured I would. No biggie. Went this morning, got another bottle. So we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, I did get the braces tacked in. Uh, I didn't get them welded at all. After about the third tack, I realized I was out of gas, so kind of stopped. But they are tacked in. Lightly. We're going to get them welded in today, and then we're going to get some paint put on them. Alright, so these are the braces. This is actually the piece I cut out of the trunk, split in half. I got the holes cut, got them stuck in there. And like I said, I just got a few little tacks here and there, holding them in. So we're going to finish getting the tacked in, get everything where it needs to be, and then we're going to weld them up.
All right, we got our braces welded up. Now we just got to clean up the floor, get all the trash and everything else out of it, and get some paint put on it. All right, floor's cleaned up, got the paint put on it. I sprayed it gloss black. I know you're never gonna see it once I get the sound dead the material down and the carpet put in it, but it's there for protection. That's all it is, just so it don't rust again. I did pretty much spray the whole floor. Now, with that being said, this is what I used. This stuff is awesome. I mean, it lays down great. Uh, I do have a little bit of trash in the paint, but no biggie. Like I said, it's just there to protect it from rust. This stuff right here, I mean, look at the nozzle on this thing. It sprays like a paint gun, but it's in a can. Uh, blew my mind. I mean, I've seen videos of it, but I had to try it myself. Figured why not use it on the floor paint? Now, as you can see, super, super glossy. Uh, you can tell I got some trash in it, but like I said, it's just there to protect it, guys. But the floor's solid now. You don't have to worry about the rust anymore. Overall, came out real good. Now, as far as what's next on the list, I still have to finish up the sunroof. I need to tie the bracing back into the car. So we're gonna be doing that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the dash out. There's some wires. We don't know what they go to. Some of them weren't even hooked up. So we're gonna get those pulled out. Get the braces for the roof put in. And then uh, we'll go from there. If you like the video, like the build, consider subscribing, leave me a like, drop a comment, we'll see y'all next time.